I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on test preparation. In this video, we will learn how to solve equations related to linear inequalities. Right? So we have four examples here. Two are simple inequalities and two are double inequalities. Let us see how to solve them. So let's begin with the very first one, which is 4 minus x over 2 should be greater than 10. Right? Now, I'll show you two different ways of doing this so that you understand both. So one way is we can take 4 on this side. So it becomes minus x over 2 should be greater than 10 minus 4, which is minus x over 2 should be greater than 6. And now you can multiply by minus 2. So we get x. When you are multiplying by minus 2, the sign will flip, right? And so we get 6 times minus 2 which means x is less than minus 12. Is that clear to you? That is how you're going to solve it. Another method could be that you take this minus on the right side so that you don't uh, get trapped in that step, right? So, so the alternate method could be we can bring 10 to this side, right? So we get 4 minus 10 and bringing x by 2 on the right side is greater than x by 2 which is 6 with a negative sign should be greater than x by 2. So that means minus 12 is greater than x or you can say x is less than minus 12. So either way the result is same. Perfect. So you can adopt the method you feel comfortable with. Now the next one here is 3 times x minus 2 is less than plus 6. So let's open the bracket or we can just divide by 3. So we get x minus 2 is less than 6 divided by 3, right? So that means x minus 2 is less than 2 or x is less than 2 plus 2. That means x is less than 4, right? So the solution is x is less than 4, right? So these are the two solutions for the given situation. Now let's look into the solution of double inequalities. The first one here is we have x minus 5 which should be less than 2 times, let's open the bracket, we get 2 times x minus 2 less than x. Now in this case we could actually take away x from all the sides, right? We could do minus x minus x minus x. So now it becomes much simpler. So we have minus 5 is less than 2x minus x is x and here we have minus 2 which is less than 0. Is that clear to you? And now we can add 2, right? So we can add 2. So once you do that, you get your solution which is minus 5 plus 2 is minus 3. x minus 2 plus 2 is x and here we get 2. So we get our solution that is x is greater than minus 3 but less than 2. Sometimes you may have to show the answer on a number line. So let me also do that here, right? So let's say we have a number line here. So in this particular case, the solution for us is, let's say 0 is within the solution. Here we have minus 3, open circle means not included, and then up to let's say 2 again open circle since both are not included clear so that is how you could also represent the answer on number line now part d is very typical and not easy to solve we have 9 is less than equal to 2x minus 1 which is less than equal to x plus 7 now in this case you cannot isolate x so here what we do is that we actually work with two separate equations. So one will be 9 is less than or equals to 2x minus 1 and we also want that 2x minus 1 should be less than or equal to x plus 7. Do you understand? So we are working with two equations simultaneously and intersection of these will be the solution. Is that clear to you? Let's solve this. Bringing 1 here, we get 10 is less than or equal to 2x or 10 divided by 2 is less than or equal to x or we know that x is greater than or equal to 5. 
perfect so that becomes one part of it so what we are saying here is that on a number line x is greater than or equal to 5 so if this is 5 for us that has been filled up and we are looking for everything to the right side of this which is 5 is that okay so that becomes a solution from what we just solved on this side we have 2x bring x this side so we get 2x minus x is less than equals to 7 take 1 there so there is x is less than equal to 7 plus 1 is 8 right so here we get a solution which says from 8 to this side is the solution is that okay from 8 where 8 is included right so the operation here is intersection right so we are talking about and right so both should be true so both can only be true if we are talking about a solution which is between 5 and 8 do you understand so that becomes your answer correct so that is how we are going to solve this so everything between 5 and 8 will be the solution of the given question right so our answer here is that x is greater than or equal to 5 and less than or equal to 8 perfect so i hope the concept is clear feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best